Hello, group three, and thanks for joining me for your mid-May need to know tarot reading. We're gonna get right into it, but first I like to take a moment to acknowledge the land where this video is being recorded. And after that, uh, we'll get to uh, your cards. In the spirit of respect, reciprocity, and truth, we honor and acknowledge that together we live, work, and play on this land of the people of traditional Treaty 7 territory. The Blackfoot Confederacy, Siksika Kanai Pikani. The Tsutina Nations, Iarhe Nakoda, and Region 3 Métis Nation of Alberta. All right, Group 3, this is for everyone who's chosen Bathin. The equivalent of the Knight of Wands. So group three, let's start off with just some housekeeping notes. First off, this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone. The best thing that you can do is get a one-to-one -one session with a tarot reader and that way the energies are directly connected. But if something resonates for you, then the messages are for you. And if it doesn't, you can just let it go. It's for someone else. Second thing, my dears, is that I consider myself an R-rated reader. What does that mean? It means we could talk about sex. I could be rather graphic. I definitely will swear. Okay. So if anything like that is uh, disturbing or uncomfortable to you, now is the time for you to be able to switch away to a different video. But for those of you who are staying, let's find out the messages from Baffin. The first two groups have had vastly different messages, so I am very interested to see uh, group number three. What is up for you? We've got the Hierophant. Okay, that seems like a thing. Underneath the deck, we have the, oh, oh, the Knight of Cups. Okay, okay. Let me just compose myself here for a hot sec. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. So I just accidentally interrupted this video recording, so I'm going to take these two and stitch them together in editing so that it will be one video. Anyway, let's get back to what I was saying here. So to clarify the Five of Wands, this conflict of, of you know, the many things that you have coming at you there, is like all stuff that you don't wish for or that is like manifested but manifested and you're like but I don't want that so there's an interesting way that I look at this wish card right that you always get your wish but some you know that message be careful what you wish for because you'll get it and then you'll be like this sucks <laughs> so I don't know what it is and I don't know how to say it but the people or the issues or the things that have come up that seem to be the same thing repetitively that is not that hierophant energy is in a way part of the wish that you have been manifesting but you've been manifesting with this high priestess reversed with this um, eight of wands reversed so you're not getting I mean you are getting it it's just not technically what you want when it shows up you're like I don't want this this sucks um, so it's wish fulfillment, but not true because it's challenged here. And this is the tower card, the tower reversed. So with the tower reversed, again, it can be like, I don't know if I want to say like resistant, okay, to change. Oh, the freezing of the camera. So
So I say kind of this idea, it, yes, it can be things that come in out of the blue, okay? But it's also major drastic change. It's rebuilding things. And I get this sense of like, not willing to change. Um, so if you're not willing to change things or try something different, maybe because again, you don't really know what to change, etc. You keep getting the same thing and you keep getting the shitty wishes. And you're like, this can't go on. And so the tower's gonna come in and be like, let me help you. But let's clarify that to make sure I'm just not making shit up. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords reverse, please. Oof, that's a lot. Well, we got, well, we got. <clears throat> We've got the Five of Cups reversed. We've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. We've got the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups reversed. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna stay over here until that camera fixes itself. We've got the card, like you've been going through a hard time with this whole shindig scenario here, but it's kind of like through its darkest point, you will be coming out of it and major change is coming. And so you've been working very much on like cultivating a better emotional, mental headspace, etc. You are no longer just focusing on all the shit and depression, but in practicing gratitudes, for example. There is a sense of codependency, perhaps, shall I say? with the nine of pen, uh, pentacles reversed and i say that because this is very much a card of independence now you can still you could be like too independent when it's reversed and just pushing everyone away but since we're talking in a narrative of like a whole bunch of people coming at you there is more of this hint of like codependency and maybe Maybe that is why you keep getting the same not what you want shit because there is a non-recognition of components of your own codependency tendencies and therefore attracting particular types of scenarios and individuals. I don't know. Just putting it out there, okay? There's stuff that really holding on to. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles can be called the miser, and it's holding on to things that you're not willing to let go of. And it's like coming back to the same old shit. So don't shoot the messenger. This is just what I'm getting, and I am not a mental health practitioner, so, you know, take it as you will. I would encourage you to explore and see if you have any tendencies of codependency attachments um, or ideas, beliefs, structures, etc. that you're not willing to let go of or that you didn't even know you needed to let go of, but that may be a hard thing to let go of uh, because you keep going back to the same emotional landscape now, the Eight of Cups is about returning to something, and a return can be beneficial, but it can also be detrimental. So in this case, uh, with these particular cards here, I would see this as coming back to the same emotional problem, that you walked away from it or went to find clarity, but um, maybe you have a hard time of letting go what the actual issue is, you know? Whatever that emotional component is, that is an underlying root of codependency tendencies that you're clinging on to because in some way these these behaviors these way of beings etc are there for a reason and generally to help us in some way to help protect us or serve us in a benefit but then they end up acting in detriment right so I'm just going to encourage you to explore that as a possibility if this reading is resonating with you okay it's not gonna resonate with everyone self-reflection is always good let's talk about the tower 
Please clarify the text. Don't be shy, my new back. Okay. I fucking love this. Okay, gonna give it to you straight here. I, <laughs> as a reader, like to read sideways cards. So sometimes I know, like, if it's like this, I'll take it this way. Or if it's like that, I'll take it that way. But this, you saw it. You saw it. It was like, I am perfectly sideways. And that, to me, is fucking amazing and important. So, let's talk about card number 15, which is the devil card in this deck. So, you have the tower, something spontaneous coming in, and the devil card is explaining it. I'm going to say that this could go either way. Okay? Almost like it's a test, even though the judgment card isn't here right now, okay? The tower is coming in, giving you the opportunity to completely change your ways, to have recognition about the temptations, the things that you get caught up in, right? The things that you get ca caught up in that end up being all of this hot mess over here that I talked about. Um, and by proxy of this person coming in, or persons, I don't know, you also have the opportunity to change that, to challenge that, to do something different, to deconstruct the habits that are over here, that you want to change and see something different. Gotta really look at this. So. If we want to get predictory here, I would say that someone's probably coming in to your world, okay? Uh, and they are there as an opportunity for you to shift a whole bunch of stuff. Let's explore this. Now, I should also say this could just be your own shit coming up too, but for some reason I'm really feeling like here is another. <laughs> This type of energy over here coming on in. Let's explore. Three of Wands clarifier, please. Why are you so shy? Oof, that was. Okay. Take that part too. So, this is the Knight of Cups reversed right here and the chariot verse sorry <laughs> i had to look that up it's very interesting it looks like a beautiful bird this way anyway um okay this is making a hot ton more sense to me tower comes in someone out of the blue devil energy and he's like hey baby Probably not going to be that sleazy. Actually, probably going to be very attractive. It's going to be something that you're like, ooh, damn, that's tempting. And he's probably going to make you feel really good about yourself. Going to make you feel confident. Going to make you feel, like, sweet. Going to make you feel beautiful. Um, it's the same shit. <laughs> this starts to trigger your attachment. You really want to be attached to someone Right? You want to hold on to this idea, you want to like feel these things even if this person is not good for you. So these might be these areas coming up here. Now, three of wands. Instead of it coming in, we'll clarify that more and talk about that, maybe this is the after part. This makes a lot more sense to me of like, don't get with the fuck boy. Don't go forward with this. Wait. Right? I know that's very, like, just blunt, but this is what I'm getting with this. If you wait, instead of entertaining this, you're actually transmuting the devil energy. You're rebuilding things, okay? You're saying no to the same old tricks that get you caught up every single time. You're walking away from it. You're moving in a different direction, and that is going to lead you to more bountiful emotional options. But let's find out about this possible overwhelm emotionally. Please explain the Seven of Cups.
we have I just need to double check that this is the six of earth yeah yeah because this would be the upright okay this is the six of earth Ooh, snap 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 okay group number three by challenging this devil energy this pattern that you keep going through that you're like this fucking sucks this isn't what i want you keep entertaining it and opening yourself up to people who actually don't match your higher ideals but you get involved with them because you have this attachment to um kind of the sweetness the the passion etc that they put forward to you and yeah that feels nice and great but being able to hold out, being able to move away from that and transmute this devil energy, waiting for what you actually want, will bring, not to say an overwhelm of emotional options, but start to actually bring up more emotionally appropriate people who are harmonious givers and receivers. Something where you actually feel like you're not just putting in everything or someone's just there and being like, I'm gonna, give you attention until I get sex and then peace off um, or whatever it is right but in balance so the seven of cups gets the six of pentacles and to me that's like starting to see in both friendships in emotional relationships maybe even in family dynamics etc all these different cups things start to be more balanced and harmonious because you've shifted something real fucking major and you're going to see that being reflected in multiple avenues in your life so let's just put this one down and i'm going to get any other final advice okay <laughs> i love that ten of cups my dear group number three this is important work for you to do okay I don't know if you need to do a, some reading on the things that we talked about over here or if you've got a counselor or something that you want to talk to this about or friends that you want to get outside perspectives but if you pass this if you walk over this bridge if you start to shift this energy here ten of cups you're moving towards what you want you will be getting what you want it's not to say that immediately the next thing will be what you want but also at the same time it could be hey i don't know but what it says is that you're on the way to getting what you want instead of wishes that are shitty <laughs> so group number three that is your reading for the oh mid bay forgetting all things uh if this resonated with you please like share subscribe comment you know it helps out the channel it helps the channel algorithm it helps people discover it and uh, receive their messages if you uh, also use instagram you can find me at imagination witch over there and you can always check out my services etc on imaginationwitch.com i'll put up on the screen some more videos for you to check out if you like and until next time group number three be well